Hello, doctors. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nerve slides for the spinal accessory nerve. That's what I'm going to be going over. The spinal accessory nerve is cranial nerve number 11. It is the motor innervation to the sternocleidomastoids and the trapezius muscles. We want to have our patient standing or seated in good posture. That is basically our starting position. Just have them in a good posture. And then the first thing we want to do if we are working the right hand side is we want them to retract the scapula on that side. So they are pulling the medial inferior border of the scapula towards the spine. And then they are going to protract the cervical spine, not retraction, but protract the cervical spine and perform cervical lateral flexion to the opposite side. So again, there's three motions ipsilateral scapular retraction. So we're pulling the inside border of the scapula towards the spine, and then you protract the cervical spine and perform contralateral cervical lateral flexion. So again, we're in a neutral position. This is our starting position. I'm performing it on the right hand side. So we retract the scapula, protract the cervical spine, and perform contralateral cervical spine lateral flexion. Again. And then back to the starting position. Perform between three to 15 repetitions a day. Always make sure that the patient is using proper technique. Nerve slides help to lessen scar tissue encasement of nerves. Therefore, they allow that nerve signal to be sent along its pathway without interference. So I'm gonna demonstrate one more time, on the, with this time using the left-hand side. So we retract the scapula, protract the cervical spine, and perform contralateral cervical lateral flexion.